Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. So it's actually my first time picking up the camera since we came back from Dubai. In this video, first of all, I'm going to give you a little training update on how things have been going for Brighton 10K. And then later tonight, I'll bring you along an event. I'm going to the blogger launch event for the On Cloud Monster new running shoe, which I'm really curious about. So yes, but training updates first. Well, if you've been keeping up with the videos recently, then you know that I had to take a couple of weeks off due to injury. And before that, I also had to take almost a week off due to recovering from a medical procedure. So safe to say that basically since Mercia 10K race, early February, training has just not been consistent whatsoever. So I started properly training again the week starting the 14th of March where I did a total of 48k and then the week after was actually last week in Dubai well most of the week in Dubai where I managed to do a total of 46k not so bad considering it was a holiday I didn't really do long runs in Dubai because of the heat but on the Sunday when we came back, I managed to do a 16k run which brought me up to 46k total and for this week, well, not sure yet because the week is not over but I put the figure on the screen for you because when this video goes live I would have finished all my runs but I'm hoping around 50k I don't really want to go above because next weekend is already bright and tanky came around really quickly so yeah basically i've got to start tapering do i feel ready for this race no do i feel on my a game no do i think i can pv absolutely not of the cards but i'm looking forward to the experience racing in brighton going away for the weekend the atmosphere with the marathon going on at the same time I'm looking forward to that the thing is I don't race a lot and when I sign up to a race it's like my A race and I'm going to properly train for it I don't really sign up to races for training runs so in this case knowing that I'm literally going into a race knowing full well that it's not going to be a huge performance and also knowing that I haven't been able to put together a solid block of training for it really doesn't fill me up with confidence so I'm going into this one with a really different mindset compared to the other races I'm kind of trying to tell myself that it's just one race out of so many I could do this year and that I'm just gonna enjoy the experience and it's not all about PVs and performance it's also about showing up and next weekend in Brighton 10k I'll be showing up and doing my best The task for tonight is to chase him down so we do have a 4k loop which Oli will talk a little bit more about in a second uh, what you're going to be running you're going to chase down Oli enjoyed seeing those little bits from the event for the launch of the on cloud monster i didn't really vlog at the event because well i felt a little bit self-conscious i barely knew anyone and my introvert self was very much in her shell and the concept of the event was because this shoe is called the cloud monster we were going to chase a monster on the road basically you scan a qr code which then gives you the moving location of the monster and you have to chase this person around it was quite enjoyable quite fun and then we got to 
give the shoes a first try. And then once we found the monster, we just jogged our way back to the pop-up where there was a bit of a panel talk, just learning more about the shoe, about the brand, people involved and all of that. Uh, it was really nice. I'm really grateful to have been invited. And then afterwards, people were staying for drinks and food, but I did not have this level of social interaction in me on a Friday night, so I quietly left after the panel. But yeah, really grateful for the invite and really glad to have these shoes. It's my very first pair of on shoes. Now I'm going to give you my first impressions and a little bit of a review of the shoe. Mind you, I'm far from being an expert. You have loads of specialists when it comes to running shoes that just review it technically so much better than I would do. I'm just an average runner, I enjoy running, I enjoy trying new shoes and yeah, this is just from my point of view. So in all of my Nike shoes and most of my Adidas shoes, I'm a UK 4. So these ones, UK 4.5, I definitely needed to go up half a size. So I've only worn these twice. At the event, we did a 4K run and then over the weekend, I did about 9K in this. So very little running in this so far but my very first impression when I put them on I don't know if it's me or I don't know if other people feel the same they reminded me a little bit of the feel I get in the Adidas Ultra Boost I've got the 2021 version of the Ultra Boost and yeah they just reminded me of this shoe in the way they feel like bouncy super smooth it's my very first pair of shoes from this brand so I can't really compare to other of their shoes but with the Cloud Monster on Brotas their most cushioned shoe. If you wear shoes from the brand then it has the CloudTech midsole and it's got the same plate as all their other running shoes. This combine makes for smooth running with high energy return and bounciness. Is that even a word? Yeah, optimal bounciness. If you like bouncy running shoes you need to have a look at these ones i think they could be the ones for you i'll leave a link down in the description to the shoes so you can read more about the specs and the details and everything i almost forgot to mention 30 percent of this shoe is made from recycled material i love the fact that now in active wear and shoes using recycled material is more and more mainstream and just becoming the norm that's really cool so yeah 30 percent recycled material Finally, what types of run is this shoe made for? So on the panel with people from the brands and athletes, they were saying that this shoe was very much designed for easy runs, recovery run, you little shakeout run, whether it's a short one or a long one. There was someone who basically does a lot of running, a lot of miles every day, saying that he was going to use this shoe for his training. I mainly do easy runs next week actually because I'm tapering before Brighton 10k. So yeah, I'll be putting these shoes to good use and just taking them on all my easy runs. All right, I think that's all for this week's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week's video will mainly be the taper and getting ready to go to Brighton. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.